church, what's up, what's up? Come on. Come on, bless the name of the Lord. Come on in the house. First church, what's up, what's up? Come on. Delayed but not denied. <laughs> Delayed but not denied. First church, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Praise the Lord, everybody. Lottie Dottie, everybody. We're going to have a Holy Ghost party. Come on, Lottie Dottie, everybody. We're going to have a Holy Ghost party. Come on, Lottie Dottie, everybody. We're going to have a Holy Ghost party. What's up, O? Daddy, Sister Toreen in the house. Minister Myrna in the house. What's up? Come on in. Text somebody, tell them, we live, we live, we live. <laughs> Sister Laverne in the house, what's up? Come on, come on, come on. Bless the name of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. Minister Cheryl is in the house. Come on, hit that share button. Tell somebody, delay but not deny. We in the house. Come on. This is the day. Rem Dante, what's up? Hey, Sister Aletha, what's going on? This is the day. Sister Arnita, what's up? Come on, praise the Lord. I feel jubilant all in my soul. I feel joy all in my soul. I feel joy. I feel the peace of God. Come on, I need somebody to open your mouth in case you ain't praised him today. I need somebody to open their mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Jew, what's up, Jew? I love it, Minister Myrna. Holy Ghost party. Hey, Sister Beryl, so good to see you tonight. Martel, what's up, man? So good to see you. Hey, Sister Gwen. Sister Gwen Perkins in the house tonight. Sister Aaliyah, all the way on the West Coast. God bless you, so good to see you. Sister Lanita, I missed you on Saturday. Oh my God, they told me I had just missed you. I'm so sorry. Somebody praise God in here. Come on, hit that share button. Text somebody, tweet somebody. Tell them church is live. And we are so glad to be in the house of God. Pay, pay. Hey, evangelist, pay, pay. Uncle, miss you, baby girl. I pray you're doing good. I know you look so pretty today. Sister Connie's in the house. AP, love my AP. Come on, come on. We're almost there. I feel God in the house tonight. I feel God in the room tonight. I feel God in our midst tonight. I feel like God want to say something tonight. Come on, lift up your head. O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting door. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord God strong and mighty. The Lord God mighty in battle. He is the King of glory. Come on, somebody, open your mouth and bless him. I feel God. Mother Carmen, so good to see you in the house tonight. Dory, Dory. Bless you, Sister Dory, in the house tonight. Come on, we're almost there. I need 60 more seconds of praise at your address, in your living room, in your basement. I need you to shout like you know God's about to do something in your life. I need you to glorify God. Hey, Sister Priscilla, Mother Barbara Coven, I miss you. I love you. Can't wait to see you. Sister Gloria Kennedy's in the house. Come on. Praise is my way out. I feel like praising tonight. Praise is my way out. Praise is my way out. Praise is my way out. What's ailing you? Good night, Pastor Debbie. Love you. 
Bud, what's up? What's ailing you? What's hindering you? Hey, Sister Kim, love you. Hey, Sister Far, bless you. Elder Annie's in the house. Sister Linda Kirk's in the house. Reverend Shay Johnson's in the house. Come on and magnify the King of glory. Come on and lift Jesus. I know Easter has passed, but we still celebrate the fact that he got up. We still shout about the fact that he got up. Sister Tawanda, bless you and your family all the way to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Hey, Sister Delisa. Hey, Sister Alicia. God is good. He's a great God and greatly to be praised. I want to see prayer requests. I feel prayer on me tonight. Before I get into my lesson, I want to see prayer requests. I feel prayer on me tonight. God, we need a move. I know Shantanama. Hey, bro, Neville, love you, man. Hit me up on Twitter, man. Hallelujah. I feel God moving tonight. Minister Darlene, God bless you. Glad to have you with us. Come on and press in to the presence of God. I thank God for a move. Come on, I thank God for a move. I thank God for a move. How many of you need a move? I want you to raise, use your hand raise emoji. Just say, God, I need a move. Hallelujah, I need a move, God. I need you to move in my midst, on my behalf. Sister Muriel, love you so much. Minister Karen, the Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Hallelujah, Sister Lottie, bless you in the house tonight. This is Pastor Monte Dillard coming to you live from the First Church of God Christian Life Center. We are so thankful, so overwhelmed. So overjoyed to be with you tonight. I'm going into prayer uh, and I uh, want you to submit a prayer request if you have one. Hallelujah, the sick and the shut in. Thank you, Sister Linda Kirk. Uh, Sister Arnita, I stand in agreement with you for your children. Hallelujah, we're praying for the children, for the children, excuse me, yours, mine's, and everybody's. Amen. The family of uh, dear departed Aunt Sonia. Oh, Sister Connie's aunt went to be with the Lord. Sister Connie, I'm praying for you. A uh, little boy, 21 months, I believe, shot on Lakeshore Drive. First Lady and I were talking about that this morning. Just heartbreaking. We want to continue to pray for Mother Sally and Sister Angie Johnson. Moselle Houston. Pray for Sister Moselle. She is, uh, talked to her this afternoon, was with her yesterday. They let me in the hospital. My first visit in 14 months uh, down in Chicago. They are allowing one visitor at a time. Yes, Sister Kim, I need to move. Daddy, I need to move. And uh, she's home. I want to pray for Sister Moselle. Mo, if you're watching, she told me she'd be on tonight. We love you. And I continue to pray for Mother Gloria Brown. Thank you, intercessors, for that. I need to move. Come on, that's it. I need to move. God, I need to move. Jew, Sister Judith, if I'm with you, God, I need to move. We're praying for those experiencing anxiety and depression. Thank you, Minister Cheryl. Beginning a new preaching series this Sunday. Don't worry. Don't. I got to deal with it. I must deal with the saints. We are worrying. Uh, praying for Mother Carmen's granddaughter, Denise. And um, Sister Priscilla is declaring God is moving on her behalf. And thank you, Sister Farr. Yes, praying for that baby shot on Lakeshore Drive. Heartbreaking. Road rage turns into gunfire. Lord, help us keep our tempers together. The spirit of death and murder just jumping around. Uh, Sister Toreen said her cousin Darlene having trouble with her son. We're going to pray for Trevarius in Jesus' name. Put his name on the altar. Sister Beryl healing for her family. James Etta Cleveland and family standing with you. Sister Andrea, pray for the innocents that suffer because of evil in the world. That, Pastor Debbie, that sums it up. We could do a whole hour of intercession for all the innocents who are uh, uh, the, the objects of uh, people's rage and evil. And we need to move, Sister Toreen. Sister Lucia, we're praying, standing with you and your family. Uh, little Breck and Maggie Cousins, Lamont, Mark, Lydia, Aunt Donella, pray for the show Shannon family. 
uh, Burkhalter and family. Uh, healing for Luke, Mia, Sean, Nicholas and family. Somebody shout, we agree. I need 25 we agrees right now. 25 we agrees right now. Steve Carter, Shannon Washington, Jim Lucas, Marva Brooks, uh, T-Lock, praying for your dad, man. Man, just saw him. Love you, bro. Praying for uh, Brother Lockett, a praiser's praiser. If I ever need a praise intercessor, somebody to praise God on my behalf, I'm calling Daddy Lockett. I, that's who I'm calling. Love him. Yes, Minister Myrna, Sister Mo is coming along. The Lord is touching and blessing her. So good to be, uh, be loving on her. Healing and strength to families everywhere. Reverend Johnson, I need to move with you. Pray for me and my family, Sister Delisa, the Hayes family in Atlanta, the Aaron and Copeland families. Come on, where my we agrees. I asked for 25, we agrees. I need to move the intercessory team and media team, always praying for them. Uh, 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 Brother Ron, praying for mother who is not well. We agree mother is going to be well. Aisha and Amber Johnson continue prayers for the Finley and Gardner family and continue prayers for Sister Gwen Perkins' children, her co-worker, her father. Lord, pray for the homeless. You guys know the homeless have a special place on my heart uh, supporting that work and uh, we want to continue to do that. Thank you, Reverend Kennedy. We agree. The Cunningham family, uh, Brother Bud, we're praying for the world. That's it. Thank you, Jew. We agree. There we go. There's my agreement. The Bible says if two of you would touch Come on now, touching faith. We're not touching physically, we touch in faith. The Lord says, I will do it. That those unable to pray for themselves leads to depression, hopelessness, suicide. Come on, there's my agreement. I see God moving in agreement. I see him moving in agreement. Strength to you, LeBron. Strength. Shia, strength. In the name of Jesus, we agree. There it is, there it is, there it is. Thank you, Reverend Johnson, for me and my family, Odessa Con uh, Connerkey. And come on now, let's. We got agreement. We got agreement. I can pray now. We got agreement. Come on, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, forever and ever. God, tonight we jump right to it, knowing that we have much agreement. We are decreeing tonight in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that for every name, every circumstance, every family, every issue and every ailment, for the challenges, the problems, the lack, the sickness, the depression and suicidal thoughts, the evil attacks, the hurt, the pain, the darkness that is coming against the children of God and all that's connected to us in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus tonight tonight we ask you to move by our faith move on our agreement move by our declarations move upon our willingness to verbalize and carry requests it took faith to even type it. It took confidence and hope to even put it in the chat. So Lord, we ask you to move. Somebody shout, Lord, move in my house. Lord, I feel prophecy on me. Everybody don't get it, but if you with me, just holler out your address. God knows it already but he just wants to know that he's welcome to step into your business. Holler out your street. Come on, Daryl. Come over on, on Lions. Walk down Leland and Simpson. Move up Dodge. Come over to Skokie. Down to Chicago. North to Gurney. God, we need a move. To 
touch everything on my heart. Move on the verbal and nonverbal requests. Lord, give me an answer. Give me a sign. Give me peace about it. Let me rest. Let me rest in the meadow's grass. Lead me beside the quiet streams. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for being my shepherd. Thank you, Jesus, for being my shepherd, my guide, my leader, my will in the middle of a will, my rose on the plain of Sharon, my cloud by day, fire. Show me what to do for my situation. Whatever I need to do, whatever you require of me, if I got to fast, I'll fast to get it. If I got to turn my plate down, I'll turn my plate down. If I got to walk away from some stuff, I'll walk away. Lord, just move on my block. Come to my address. Come in my bedroom. Send an angel. Lord, send an angel. Feathers in the living room. Feathers in the living room. I found feathers in my living room. That means God sent his angels. Hebrews chapter 1 says that the angels are ministering spirits that are sent to do God's bidding to the inheritance of eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, for answering my prayer. Now, I seal this prayer with two words. We agree. <laughs> we agree. We agree. We agree. Neighbor, you have my agreement. I agree about what you need. You touch and agree about what I need. And God's gonna move. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. God's gonna move. He's gonna move. He's gonna move. He's gonna move. He's gonna move. And we thank you for agreement. We thank you for a move. We thank you that you're delivering us from worry and stress and anxiety about it. I had fainted except I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living I had fainted except I believe to see I was going to faint I was going to quit I almost gave in except I believe my faith prevented my faint. <laughs> my faith prevented my faint. Your faith, Shaya Namose, Haya Kotana, Shaya Tapo. I got the go, oh, y'all. I feel it. Oh, I would have fainted except I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I would have fainted except I believe somebody need that tonight 
except I believe to see the goodness of the Lord. My faith, I see you, Sister Eddie. I see you, Minister Cheryl. I see you, Sister Connie. My faith prevented my faint. I would have fainted. I would have threw in the towel. I would have quit. I would have stopped praying about it. I would have stopped going to church. I would have stopped pressing forward. Except I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land. My faith prevents. My faint. My faith prevents my faint. My faith. Yes, Sister Judith. Yes, Minister Walger. First lady, I would have fainted. But, oh, I got to stop, y'all. First lady said, I would have fainted. But, how? Oh, I believed. Who lift your hands? I got to move. I decree that your faith, high not mine, your faith is being restored. Ah, I decree that your faith is being enlarged. I decree that your faith is being restored, replenished, revived. You need faith so you won't faint. Oh, shot. If it worked for David, it's going to work for us. David said, I had fainted, but I believe. Minister Melissa, I still believe, I still, I'm holding, I still, I still, somebody shout in your house, I still believe. The devil tried to make me give up on it, tried to make me stop, tried to make me give in, tried to make me throw in the towel, but the devil is a liar. Jesus is Messiah, the devil is a liar. And Jesus is Messiah. The devil is a liar. Jesus is Messiah. Hey, 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 hey. Call it forth. I dare you call your faith forward. Say, come forth. Now, loose your shackles, devil. I will not be deterred by what my eyes have seen. I will not be deterred by what I see right now. Faith, come alive. Faith, come alive. I still believe. I still believe. I believe. God, I promise I got a lesson. I promise I do. I believe. God, I believe. Say it out of your own mouth. God, command your spirit I believe God I oh, believe God oh, what you believe I believe God I believe God I believe the report of the Lord, I believe, I believe the report of the Lord, I believe the report of the Lord, I believe the report of the Lord, I 
salvation I believe God for my economic abundance I believe God for the keys to my house I believe God for promotion and favor I believe God for every word On one more time. I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. I believe So, Father, we seal this prayer. seal this prophetic reviving of our faith somebody was about to faint I had fainted except I believe I had fainted except I believe I had fainted except I believe 
2 Timothy 1. I had fainted, except I believe. 9 and 10 from Sunday. I had fainted, except I believe. I had fainted, except. Oh, I had fainted, except I believe. I would have gave up, except I believe. I would have stopped pursuing, except I believe. I would have threw in the towel, except I believe. I would have stopped, except I believe. I would have, I would have took my life, except oh, I. Believe God. Go to Second Timothy one nine and ten for fifteen minutes. Maybe prophetic intercession release was my assignment tonight. I, I knew prayer was on me. But I, I just want to, sometimes when I finish preaching, something still be on me from the message. And I wanted to double down on one of my points from this past Easter Sunday. Sister Kim Holmes Ross, I believe God with you. Amen. Minister Sam, bless Jesus. Sister Dory, but God. I had fainted, except I believe. I better get out of that. I want to give you this tonight. I want to revisit my first point from this week in some Easter afterglow. I'm going to start a new Wednesday series next week, a new series this Sunday morning. I'm going to shut down this spirit of worry on you. I'm going to labor in that for the rest of April. We're not going. We, we're not doing this, Amen. So tell everybody you know you need to hear. Don't worry. Be happy. McFadden was that his name? Told us that I remember in elementary school. Don't worry. Be happy. This past Sunday, and uh, yeah, would y'all celebrate? Thank you, Reverend Johnson. Our wonderful musicians, them guys can hear that prophetic sound. Come on, hand claps in the comments. I already see some love. Come on, Jamal and Kenny with this music. Bless you. They loving on the musicians. The men of God be. I call them my midwives. But we believe God. I have fainted. Except I believe to see the goodness of the Lord right here in the land of the living there's some stuff ain't gonna happen to heaven but baby there's a whole lot the lord will do right here say amen jesus was always god's original plan that was my first thought this past sunday and i really want to get that what what I, I left the pulpit really feeling fulfilled in the sermon you always your own worst critic but the lord really touched our service shout out to Fruit of the Spirit Dance, our music ministry, their leaders, our media team. What a beautiful Resurrection Sunday service. Just phenomenal. And if you missed it, you can watch it here or on our YouTube channels. Lots of love for the musicians. Uh, thank you all for loving on them. They are a true joy to work with. And uh, we bless God for them. I... Uh, I love uh, one of my associate ministers who also happens to be, I call her my first child, <laughs> but she's my, I call her my baby sister. I used to love when the men from down south, my baby sister, I always said I was going to call my sister, my baby sister, Minister Priscilla, uh, while having dinner this past Resurrection Sunday. She, myself, Minister Kendrick, 
uh, her beloved husband, another associate, and a first lady, and Elder Clinton, and and uh, Brother Tyrone. Uh, we 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 were discussing the sermon, and uh, Minister Priscilla's mind. Uh, she has a brilliant mind, and uh, so <laughs> so she had questions. She said, "We need to talk." We need to talk, and uh, bless you, Sister Patty. And um, we were we were wrestling uh, this past Sunday. Our text was Revelation thirteen eight. Come on, First Church, no S on Revelation. We know that, right? All right. Revelation thirteen eight. The last nine words say that Jesus is the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. And the complexity by which it takes us to gather that reasoning that, as I stated Sunday, it happened before it happened. <laughs> and what, what we know, what we leaned into, as complex as it can be to grasp psychologically, as, as tough as it can be to grasp psychologically that God's plan of salvation for Christ to become the atoning sacrifice was not something that caught God by surprise. As we look at uh the garden uh, and this seeming breach uh, let me backtrack at this full breach of God's plan uh, you should read Monroe if you haven't we read one book together rediscovering the kingdom uh, no God's big idea that's the book Miles Monroe the late great Miles Monroe man we miss him God's big idea that his kingdom would come, his will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. That God would make a physical heaven. Oh, you read the book, it's going to blow your hair back. Right? A manifested, we would do here in the flesh what happens there. And the full breach of that via the garden. The, the thought of how could that happen and the results of sin the sinful nature becoming a part of our lives and if you read it casually I was going to say if you read it wrong it would seem like God was reacting. <sighs> it, 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 it almost, are y'all listening? It almost would seem, if you read it casually, shallow on the surface, or maybe I should say if you read it wrong, it appears that God sending Jesus was a reaction to fix, fix a, mess, a mess up Maybe he wasn't quite ready for. <laughs> but the book of the Revelation, John didn't have to do us like that. The Holy Spirit through John on the island of Patmos didn't have to do us like that. He dropped the mic. He give us this, he gives us, excuse me, this title of Jesus and drops the mic. The lamb, what am I supposed to do with that? But from that, through this and many others verses, we are able to extract. Second Timothy 1 is where I'm reading it tonight. That Jesus coming and dying. I want y'all to get this. Because this ought to make your purview of God even more broad and deeper and more appreciative. The fact, what was my point, church? That Jesus was always God's original plan. He did not react 
He did not scramble to do something. He knew that his plan would be breached, but he foolproofed it before even framing the world, the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Now, let me be real clear. I want you to really lean into this because a lot of people get this wrong. God knowing that something is going to happen is not to be equated with God wanting it to happen. Preach, Dylan. God knowing that something is going to happen should never be equated to God wanted that to happen. God knew that we would do a whole lot of things he preferred for us not to do. Clearly don't want us to do. And his foreknowledge does not give him culpability. <laughs> I've heard people say, I had to do that for the Lord to use me. No, you didn't. That's a lie. He, he helping my testimony. He's probably helping your testimony, but he ain't ordaining no sin. Everything I did is sinful. I ain't the Lord. I ain't the Lord ain't will me do no sin. Let's be God didn't. Have, it was God's desire that Adam and Eve, though he was ready, I want to make sure that your mind don't get twisted here. That he ain't have a problem with that. Oh, he absolutely did. But come here, this extension of love, of grace, of mercy. Of a God who so desperately wants fellowship with me. That before I ever do it. He had the answer to fix. It. <laughs> J.J. Harrison them saying what kind of God would do this for me. <laughs> For real, think about that. I don't want them to sin. But in my foreknowledge, I know that they will. So I will ensure that before it even happens, I have the remedy. So before the world is framed, I will be in the person of my son, their atoning sacrifice at just the right time. Second Timothy 1, 9 and 10. Who have saved us. Whew. I, I wish I had time. I would show you. I believe it was Hezekiah. When Hezekiah was about to die, got a word from Isaiah, the eagle eye prophet, get your house in order, you about to die. He turns to the wall. Six minutes left. Rock with me. He turns to the wall and prays. And the Lord extends the number of his days. For 15 more years, he stopped the funeral. You should go read what Hezekiah said right after that. He said, I realized that the Lord was ready to save me. I realize that when he sent Isaiah to tell me get my house in order even at that moment the Lord was ready before you ever got high as the sky 
before doubt was ever in your heart, before sin was ever on your lips, before you ever turned up some mad dog 2020, smoke a little Mary Jane. Come here, come here. Some of you, some of you been delivered. Some of you used to ride the white horse. before you ever did it for the first time. Hayana. Kosha. The Lord was ready to save you. Our sins did not catch him by surprise. Jesus was ready before he said let there be. Because God knew it. He didn't want it. He didn't want man to taste sin, the pain of death. You know what sin costs? But he fixed it. So what am I here tonight to tell you? I want you to know. Minister saying he was ready to save me. I want you to know that Jesus was always God's original plan. Now back in 2 Timothy, I got to read it all. And let me just say these three things and then I'm done. Who have saved us? <laughs> And called us with an holy calling. Not according to our works. Now we walk worthy of the call now. That don't mean don't try. Say amen. Not according to our works. Look, but according to his own purpose. He has a purpose. He saved us and his grace which was given to us. How? In Christ Jesus, when? Before the world began. Before Adam ate from the tree, God was ready. Jesus was not a backup plan, not no plan B. He was God's only plan from jump. Huh? It was given to us how in Christ Jesus when church before the world began. So he he had the plan before the world began. Then look at the next part. But is now made manifest. <laughs> but is now Somebody shout, I'm saved now. Woo, God, I'm done. Somebody shout, I'm saved now. It is now made manifest because Jesus has appeared. It is now made manifest in my life. It is now made manifest in my life by the appearing. I'm saved right now. Now. The Holy Spirit testifies with us that we are the children of God. For those of you who think I done done too much to be saved. I done too much. You have not committed any sin that Jesus wasn't ready to take to the cross. I did too much. But it's now. Somebody look at the saints. They say, I'm saved now, baby. Right now. Jesus has come. But it's now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who hath abolished death and hath brought life. Woo! You better get this. And immortality. That means eternal life. Life here and then we will, this mortal shall put on immortality. I'm in 1 Corinthians 15. He has brought it to light through the gospel. So, three things about Jesus having always been God's original plan. God's plan, in spite of whatever happened here on earth, number one, was unchanged. Don't ever let the devil convince you that God was not aware. 13 and 8. 
the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. God's plan is unchanged. It didn't change. It simply manifested. He was been ready to save us. Not only was number one, it unchanged. Jesus always being God's original plan meant number two, it was unhindered. And because God is the greatest power, we shall never be defeated. <laughs> and because God is the greatest power, God's plan has not been hindered in sending Christ. It happened just as he wanted it to happen. Nothing caught him by surprise. So not only was it unchanged, number two was unhindered, and here's number three where I need to pray. Jesus being God's plan from jump means it was unlimited. Whew. Hallelujah. It has no bounds. Oh, man. Huh? Which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. It is not limited. God bless. There may be some of my Calvinist brothers and sisters watching. I'm sorry. But he did it for everybody. <laughs> I love you. We both probably go to heaven. But he did it. He was always ready to do it for the worst of us. The question was asked, why in the world did Jesus not protest Barabbas being released instead of him? This murderous, villainous, evil man, the people yelled, yelled give us Barabbas. Why in the world would Jesus not protest Barabbas being released as opposed to him. You know why? Because as wicked as Barabbas was, he died for his, his sins too. <laughs> so Father, for the worst of us, oh God, for the ones who believe that they are not redeemable for the individuals who believe they went too far and stayed too long we say tonight not only was Jesus God's original plan his only begotten not only was the plan unchanged and unhindered but we thank God it was unlimited and whosoever will how shall I who so ever will for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever will believeth in him should not perish but should have everlasting life father thank you for this addendum tonight hallelujah thank you that you were always ready to save us thank you that we are the elect of God thank you that you foreknew us before you predestined us you justified and you have glorified us because you were ready to save us before we even needed it because you prepared the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Let us hold to this. Let us believe we are saved. Let us believe that justification by faith is enough. And let us live our lives 
in pursuit of holiness as our response, knowing that what you did is a finished work. God, thank you that you will never, ever be caught slipping. You're never caught by surprise. You're never unprepared. And thank you that you know we're going to do things. That don't mean you want us to do them. But the beauty in that is that you work them all for our good anyway. Even the things you didn't want us to do. You didn't sanction them. You have never led anybody into sin. But you are so good. You love us so much. Haya. That you work our foolishness, our messes out for our good. Because you've always been ready to save us. And you foolproofed us by sending Jesus before the first sin was committed in the garden. Jesus was not a backup plan, not your contingency. Jesus has always been your original and only plan. And he is all that we've ever needed. And for this, we say, thank you, Lord. And we give you glory. Clap those hands and give God a praise. And because God is the greatest power, we shall never Is the greatest power we shall never be defeated. The devil is a liar, God is exalted. I'm not gonna do that, Jim. I don't know that part. My mama sing that part. Somebody say amen. Unchanged, unhindered, and unlimited. I pray you've been blessed by this addendum to it happened before it happened. And I, don't you dare let the devil tell you that God wasn't ready to save you. He's been ready. And we give him glory. I got to let you go. I've had a pretty long day myself. And um, I'm thankful to our media team, lots of work they're doing, and our sound team and security. God is so good. It's time to give. All my tithers, let me hear you say, that's me. Amen. You may give tonight, Sunday, or any day. We do not wait until you, excuse me, we don't have to wait till Sunday or Wednesday to give. But I like to pray over it. Amen. And um, um, I've been talking to y'all about updates and up it is coming, I assure you. And it is exciting. And uh, we are certainly thankful for that. I want to show you what your commitment and faithfulness has done. And it's marvelous in our eyes. I'm going to show you real soon. Amen. So we are thankful for that. Uh, sing it, Minister Melissa. Come sing it for me. Amen. We have four ways to give. The first two ways are electronic. Text the acronym FCOGCLC to 73256 from your cellular device. You can visit our website at FCOGEvanston.org. Those both are available 24 365. You don't have to wait. Make sure you select the right tab you want to give your gifts to. Say amen. Uh, or you can mail it or bring it, 1524 Simpson Street, Evanston, Illinois, 60201. Giving slot on our Ashland side door. Our offices are open 9 to 5, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 9 to 1 on Friday, 8 to 12 on Sunday. Let me pray God's blessings on you. Father, thank you. Thank you, Father, for favor, for more than enough. Thank you for being gyro. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that you will continue to touch them economically, financially. I pray that you will bless their resources, their vats stay full, their barn houses stay filled. I pray for promotion and favor and increase. We know you're doing stuff in our spirit, but right now I'm praying for financial, economic resource increase. 
I ask that you do it in the most remarkable and amazing of ways. Thank you for our church. Oh, to see your hand of grace and mercy. It has been a beautiful thing. And so we ask that you touch it. I now pronounce upon you, your family, your children, your finances, your economics, the blessing of the hecaton to Placion, the hundredfold, that it be yours in matchless abundance. In the name that is above every name, name, that name is Jesus. Let the whole church say amen. All right, we got to go. I think I'm with the married couples uh, this Friday. Say amen to that. And we are in our virtual sanctuary Sunday morning at 10 a.m. sharp. New series, Don't Worry. Looking forward to sharing. Invite somebody. And uh, we look to have uh, the most amazing of time. Do you know that I'm proud and honored to be your pastor? Do you know that I love you more than I can say? All right, I'm praying for you. Keep praying, Sister Moselle. Pray for the Hatfield sisters, Sister Barbara, Sister Eddie, Sister Aletha. Uh, I, I believe their nephew. Uh, I may have that wrong, but I want you to pray for my beloved Hatfield. Y'all know I love all, I'll fight you about all three of them Hatfield sisters. Don't touch nail one of them. I want y'all to know Sister Aletha, Sister Eddie, Sister Barbara, I'm praying with and for y'all uh, in the midst of uh, what your family's going through. And there are many more. Just because I don't say it doesn't mean it's not important. I want you to know we're praying for you. Love you. Have a great night. Great rest of your week. I will see you this weekend. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance. And I say, peace be unto you. Come on. I receive the peace of the Lord Jesus. God bless. Pastor Diller signing out. I'll see you soon.